Buses, trains and wheels now feature on BBC Two in Storytime. We're waiting for a bus because we're going on a journey today and we've been waiting ages. But while we've been waiting, we've been singing a song. What's the next bit, Rachel? The baby! Okay, here we go. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all day long. Can you see the bus? No. We could be waiting here ages for that bus. And we've got a train to catch. So I think we'd better start walking. Come on. I know. While we're walking, let's play a game. How else can we get to the station? What can you see? A car, yes. What else? Bicycle. A bicycle. We could run. Could we run? Yeah. Run, 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 run. It would be fun to go in a digger. So what else can we see? Miss the bus. We should have waited at the bus stop. Just like Rabbit Mole and Squirrel. They're in the first story, and it's called Where's That Bus? Story time. Squirrel has asked us to tea, said Rabbit. Yippity hippity hop. I love going to tea. It's too far to walk, said Mole. We'll get the bus. They hopped and scurried to the bus stop. Where's that bus? said Mole. Look, said Rabbit. Flowers! <gasps> I'm going to pick a whopping great bunch for Squirrel. She scampered away from the bus stop. We might miss the bus, called Mole. Mind you, Squirrel does like flowers. I think I'll pick some too. Rabbit and Mole picked some flowers. Then they went back to the bus stop. Where's that bus? said Mole. Listen, said Rabbit. I can hear a noise. A noisy noise? A ricketicker noise? It's getting louder. Can you hear it, Mole? Yes, she said. It must be the bus. No, shouted Rabbit. It's too loud. Wow, look up there. Helicopters. What a racket, yelled Mole. I can't hear myself think. Rabbit and Mole watched the helicopters. They flew over their heads and far away. Where's that bus, said Mole. I'm hungry. I can smell something, said Rabbit, sniffing the air. Strawberries, scrum, diddly dumb! She skipped away from the bus stop. Wait, cried Mole. The bus will be here in a minute. Mind you, I could eat a strawberry or two myself. Rabbit and Mole ate some strawberries. Then they went back to the bus stop. Where's that bus? said Mole. We've been here ages. 
My legs hurt, said Rabbit. I'm going to lie down in that swishy, wishy grass. She hopped away from the bus stop. The bus might come, called Mole. Mind you, I could do with a lie down myself. Rabbit and Mole lay down and had a rest. Then they went back to the bus stop. Where's that bus? said Mole. It's never going to come. Look! cried Rabbit. Look at it, look! The bus! The bus! It's coming! But it's coming the wrong way, said Mole. The bus stopped, and out jumped Squirrel. There you are, she said. Got tired of waiting, brought our tea. Ooh! Ooh. Yum. Yum, said Rabbit and Mole. They sat in the sunshine and had a picnic. Munchy carrot cake for Rabbit, scrunchy worm fritters for Mole, and crunchy peanut pie for Squirrel. That was scrummy. Mm-mm, scrummy, said Rabbit and Mole. We'll see you onto the bus, Squirrel. They went back to the bus stop. Where's that bus? said Mole. Acorns, said Squirrel. Must pick a few to take home. She scurried away from the bus stop. Hey, we might miss, said Mole. Oh, never mind. Come on, Rabbit, let's go and help. Rabbit, Mole and Squirrel collected some acorns. Then they went back to the bus stop. Where's that bus? said Mole. It's getting dark. Come back with us, Squirrel, said Rabbit. You can stay the night. OK, said Squirrel. And they all went back to Rabbit and Mole's. Do, Do you know? know, said Rabbit and Mole to Squirrel, not, not one bus, bus came our way, way all day long. Here's the station. And what's at the station? Trains. Trains, that's right. So what do we need? Tickets! Tickets! There we are. Free tickets. Enjoy your journey. Thank you. Come on. To the train. So what's special about this train, Michael? It's got a steam engine. That's right. Shall we have a look? Come on. I'll show you. The coal goes in here, in the fire, and it makes the water boil, that makes the steam, that makes the train go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> See yellow flowers. Oh, cow. Cows. Cows, that's right. I see a farmhouse over a 
across the road. Whistle. Whistle. Yeah. Oh, I can see the farmhouse. What Cars. Else can you... Cars, that's right. Road. I can see some sheep. Where are they? They, they were hidden behind the trees. Can we see an elephant? Yes! Oh, you missed it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Right, I'm going to read you all a story now. This is about someone who went on a train. It's called The Train Ride. <laughs> We're off on a journey out of the town. What shall I see? What shall I see? Sheep running off and cows lying down. That's what I see. That's what I see. Over the meadow, up on the hill, what shall I see? What shall I see? A mare and her foal standing perfectly still. That's what I see. That's what I see. There is a farm down a bumpety road. What shall I see? What shall I see? A shiny red tractor pulling its load. That's what I see. That's what I see. Here in my seat, my lunch on my knee. What shall I see? What shall I see? A ticket collector smiling at me. That's what I see. That's what I see. Into the tunnel. Oh, scary and black. What shall I see? What shall I see? My face in a mirror, staring back. Oh, that's what I see. That's what I see. After the tunnel, when we come out, what shall I see? What shall I see? A gaggle of geese strutting about. That's what I see. That's what I see. Listen, the engine is slowing down. What shall I see? What shall I see? A market square, a seaside town. That's what I see. That's what I see. There is the lighthouse, the sand and the sea. Here is the station. Who shall I see? There is my grandma, welcoming me. Welcoming me. Yes, I think so. We've had a brilliant train journey, but now it's time for us to go home. Maybe there'll be a bus waiting for us. See you next time. Bye. Socks and shoes and chocolate cake help Tim learn about sequences on number time tomorrow morning at 9.45.